Hello everyone, welcome to take 4 or something like that of this tutorial. I'm on the Crisis Hub channel. Hopefully this video make, made it. Hopefully there's no other tutorials on how to do this. But, uh, my name is Zalko. Well, that's my, my internet name. Um, and, yeah, I have a small channel called ZalkoCraft. Uh, link will be in the description. And I'm a new director on this channel, Crisis Hub. Link will be in the description on how to apply for that. But we're not here for how to apply and all that stuff. All the links for this video will be in the description. And um, I'm not quite sure how to work this version. So what you're going to do is on Windows 8.1 I'm on. But it's pretty much the same. Just a little bit of GUI differences, I'm pretty sure, on Windows 7. So you're going to click that. Click Keep. Just because it's a jar file. It says that. I'm going to let that download. Okay, so once that is downloaded, you're going to open, or you're going to make a folder on your uh, desktop. I'm just deleting all that stuff because that's all pointless stuff there. And then you're going to move the, the downloaded file into that folder. <clears throat> you can name the folder whatever you want. And then you're going to do... Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is a little bit sore. I'm kind of, kind of have this weird cold. Um, yeah. Then you're gonna rename it that, and then you're gonna go new text document, and you're gonna name it start. Okay. And then you're gonna open it, and then you're gonna go to Minecraft.net/slash/download where you were before, and <coughs> yes, you're gonna copy here. Right, uh, this stuff will be in the description if you don't feel like copying it. But, um, like if you don't feel like going to the website and copying it. And <coughs> you can delete this no GUI thing here. And then you're going to do file, save as, start.bat. Save it as all files. Save. Exit that. And then you're going to minimize that. And then you can delete the original start file, and then ha and then <coughs> double click that, and it'll take a little bit. Yes, and then here you have this GUI thing here, so it'll just generate the world if that'll generate. And oh, I accidentally minimized that. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's done here and. I'm gonna, uh, my IP is, will just be localhost. Um, I'm gonna, uh, in this tutorial, I'm not gonna do how to port forward and stuff. I may do a tutorial for that later on, like a really easy way. So, um, there is other videos, you can just research that. But, I just figured because some people just don't, oh no, not 1.6.4. Do this. Okay, and then you log into here. Um, this 1.7 server does work with, um, thir like, uh, newer snapshots, 1.7.3 snapshots, so, um, I'm gonna just drag this GUI over there, okay, and then you're gonna <coughs> direct connect to localhost, if you have not port forwarded yet, if you port forwarded, then there will be, well, I guess it'll still work, and then, uh, I'm just getting game lag, like frame lag. Uh, well, I don't think I'm gonna could get server lag, but if if you uh, can't break any blocks, which I can, which is great. But um, yeah, so that that works there. And then uh, flash game mode. See, see that doesn't work there. So you're gonna go into here. You're gonna type in op, and then your username. Uh, it's not case sensitive, so and then you're gonna you can do game mode C, and then you got creative and you can break stuff and grief your whole world if you want. I wouldn't recommend it, but yeah, you can do that if you want. So, and and then even from in game you can type in stop, <coughs> and I got a Skype message. Just ignore that. So now you, I'm gonna minimize my Minecraft there. And then you got all these files here. So you're gonna open server.properties. It may open with a different thing. You're gonna right click, open with, and then 
you're going to choose if you might have to click more options but you're going to choose notepad and then you got all this stuff here um <clears throat> so now you can put a picture on here which i guess i'll do this Selco Crafts face and then you got to rename it to server icon i'm pretty sure it has to be a png and then we can this might work i don't know i'm not the master of server icons but it may work <coughs> oh sorry my throat is killing me so yeah oh yeah right here so yeah it says it has that face there because it's named server dash icon dot png it'll just automatically do that you have to put in the same folder so then i got that face there and here is my public server ip but since it, since it's running on the same computer as my public server then you can still join it through there and if you want to know how to make a craft bucket server then um there can be a uh, comment below and there'll be tutorial or uh, i might if i if enough people want it i might do a tutorial on that same for mac if you want me to do a tutorial for that on how to make a server there but i have to get quite a bit of likes for that and comments and stuff so if you really want that then just go ahead and comment down below so um <clears throat> now next what i'm going to show you is if you type slash stop okay minimize this and then you're going to go server properties i didn't really recap this much but you can change this let's say i want to change that to uh crisis hub uh i'm getting a bunch of i have two skype message server tutorial crisis hub server tutorial and then you can that'll be like the message uh I'll show you that right away. Um, 16 is the max default max spawn protection. You can change that. That's like so non-off people can break block can only break block 16 blocks out of the spawn area. And what else is here? Max players. I can put that to one. I can put that to 1,000. But just keep it at somewhere that your computer will handle it. Um, game mode, default game mode, all of that stuff. Enable command block, you might want to set this to true if you're going to keep it in vanilla. Um, resource pack, I do not know how to do this really. Uh, there's probably tutorials <coughs> online for that. And then the max build height, level seed, force game mode, server IP, you, could just <coughs> you can just leave that blank. And um, level type, default, there's just all of this stuff. I think you can do... Um, like super flat and stuff on there but i'm not really the master of this detailed stuff it's just basically me i'm just okay at uh setting up this so then if i start this open up minecraft refresh this it went uh it takes a little while to start see there now it's done drag that over there and crisis hub server tutorial so and now it's max 10 players i could change it and next i will show you how to change the amount of ram that your server takes so if you go if you go into start uh start dot uh start that bat click right click it type in edit and this is the amount of megabytes so if you want it to run on which will make it more laggy like more laggy the less more server lag for other people but the more that you do this it'll lag your computer more it's kind of hard to explain there's probably better tutorials on how to what all this ram stuff is but yeah you can just change that but make sure that you type it in right because these files are, are these yeah these files are really sensitive and then you got your world here um uh there's the players section <coughs> there's alco craft in there and if you do ban yourself so let's say I click start and let that start and then let's say I do ban Zalco craft then obviously I can't join and but if you do unban Zalco craft I can spell that right 
unknown command. So what you do is you do pardon, and then pardon, and then you do Zelko Craft or whoever is banned on there that you don't want to be banned. So <clears throat> yeah, if I could spell it right, okay, yeah, there. Then then now I'm unbanned. So <coughs> that's that's how to unban people. But I guess that is it for this episode. Thanks for watching on the Crisis Hub. And um, go check out my channel. Go check out their channel. Subscribe to both. Like this video. And comment everything that you want to. If you liked it, then like it. If you disliked it, then dislike it, obviously. And that is about, that's about it for this video, this tutorial. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.